Okay, this video is going to take you through the process of adding posts and bits and pieces to the Studio Press agent theme. This is a little bit complex, so that's why I thought I'd record it. It's a lot easier to see than just to read about what to do. So, going to our back end here. I've got no posts here at the moment, so I'm going to add a new one. Let's wait for that. Okay, so we're going to write a test post and we'll stick some text in here. Okay, now what we need to do is you know, we want to make an image appear here. So we'll scroll down to I'll worry about the property stuff here in a minute. Down to here. Now. So this is the text you need to type in, article IMG, as you can see there. And then we need to um, put in the path of where this image is saved. Now, let's go to my FTP program. Okay, and if I've actually built your website for you, I would have created an image folder for you. And I'll show you where that is. Um, Normally we wouldn't have demo4 showing there, this is just one of my subdomains that I'm using as a demonstration. So you'll be in public HTML and then images. And within the images folder, I suggest that you create a folder for each property. That's just a matter of right clicking, create a directory, type in what you want and you've got the name. Now another thing too is I actually recommend that you use lowercase where possible and also make sure you've got no spaces in your file names. Okay, so here we are here. This is like our main one here. I should make that all lowercase too, just to make it easier. Okay, so this particular image here is the one we want. Now, the, the size it needs to be is 600 by 275 pixels. So, and I've already resized that. And if you want to know how to resize an image to suit you, you just need to go to my how to resize an image video which is on YouTube. Okay, so let me click on add custom field. Now before we um, save this we need to put it into a category. Now the featured content gallery is automatically set up to pick up all featured um, category posts, but you can also add this to others. So you might just say we've got a condo and it's worth 500,000. Um, that's all good. Now here, this is your blog post template. Now because this is about a, we're, we're assuming this is going to be about a property, okay? So here's where you can do your, okay. Now, This is actually, I've, um, if I've built the website for you, I would have changed this to be square meters, okay? And leave that blank. Okay, now, photo URL. Okay, so we just need to go into here and insert the image into here. So I've just clicked on this little image box. Media library. Okay, now I've got to remember which one it is to do this. Okay, so I think they're much different. Let's go with this one. And we'll just leave that as is and we'll insert into the post. Okay, so you've got your little image there now. What you can also do, if we just, um, yeah, we're in HTML, let's go with for the moment, that's not doing what I want it to do. Okay, so we're going to HTML now, so we've got all this code back here. So what I want to do is grab all of this from WP content onwards and control C to copy. Let's go scroll, scroll, scroll down to here and that 
screws there. Now the thing is, if you don't have uh, an image that's that particular size, um, I believe it'll resize it for you anyway. But let's just see. Okay, so we're happy with that. So we'll publish this post. And we'll go and see if it has worked. And there's one thing I forgot to do. <laughs> Where we added the custom field below. Uh, where is it? Just right down the bottom. We need to add another one. So we enter new. This one will be called thumb. And it's the same as this here. Okay. Save that. Now what I'm going to have to do is create, now the featured content gallery only works when you've got at least three posts um, with the article IMG um, custom field created. So, but as you can see what we've got here now is a little thumbnail that's come up. So just hold on a moment, I'll just have to load three more posts exactly the same and we'll see what happens. As you can see here, I've created a property two folder in my. Have a look here. We've got one for property one, one for property two, one for property three. There's property two's photo, and there's property three's. Best to keep them segregated for your own benefit, I'd say. Okay, so that's what we've got here. So we'll just add this custom field and. Here, and I've got this wonderful picture here which is nothing like the rest but <laughs> so that's it for that one so we'll save that okay so I've created <laughs> three things here and this one isn't working so just bear with me a minute yeah you've got to be careful with um, the path that you type in I didn't have demo for in there which is not something you'd normally have in there anyway so I just changed that clicked on update let's wait for it and then we just update the post to suit and there it is it's working see here too that um, this image didn't work as well because what I did in this particular case is when I was uploading the images into the individual post, I uploaded the bigger photo, which is this one here, uh, that I had saved on my computer and I selected that I wanted it to be a thumbnail. So for example, to make this look a little bit better, I'll just go like this and select files and it was this one. This is a 600 by 275 size image but that's okay because we're going to it'll be shrunk down to a um, thumbnail so we'll leave that at 150 by 150 and insert into post now what we need to do is go into our HTML here and we need to copy from there to there control C go down to our custom fields Control V, update, save your post, and voila, look at that, That's look, that looks a lot better as you can see here. So we can go into each individual one now, and so we'll have a small picture of it there, the details of the um, property and any photos that we have. So there you go.